I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't already know, Siamese Mahjong is when you play two players with two hands at one time. It's relatively new to the community, and if you'd like to learn how to play, look for links in the video description below. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2 will get 27. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. We'll divide and conquer. Everybody has their tiles? Let's see what we can do for player one. Wow, look at all those cracks. We have a Kong of twos, two jokers, down here we have dots with two pair, bams with a pair. If these were your tiles, what would you do and what would be your discards? If I were playing this, I think I might try consecutive pair hand with dragons. If you can work in a pair hand for one of your hands, you could take the game. The other idea is a year hand. We wouldn't be able to use all the twos though. We could play the news concealed hand in which case we wouldn't need this. Or we could play 2019 Pong Kong Pong Kong one suit. That would be the second hand down. So I think what I would do is maybe hold the two. If we get flowers, maybe we could play a quint. I would like to see if we could make a pair hand work here. I would hold these for maybe like numbers with eights as an option. And then maybe we could use the dragon up here. With all those plans, we didn't use any of these. We probably have more than five discards, but we have options. So I think that's what I would do here. Let's see what we can do for player two. We have a joker, flower, dragons with a pair, single wins, five cracks with a pair, seven dots, no multiples, seven bams with a pair of nines. So if this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would you discard?
if I were playing these tiles. I think I would play Winds and Dragons maybe east and west with dragons or north and south with dragons. Or just the dragon hand alone. It's pretty light though. And then down here, I think I would play the 579 pair hand. 579 pair hand. Third one down. Ten discards. I think what I would do is hold ones and twos for an option for a year hand. If you have a lot of discards, come up with a plan B. With all those discards, your choices need some additional support. So that's why I would maybe play a year hand with dragons, third one down. The challenge is we have nines down here. Let's see what happens. We're going to start by discarding for player one. Let's discard four dot. We'll discard four dot. We got a white dragon. We need that up here too. Seven, eight dragon. Seven, eight dragon. Let's get rid of four crack. Like numbers with eights look pretty good. Maybe what we could do is switch to like numbers with eights and dragons and then one, two, dragon with flowers. We'll stay concealed to stay flexible. Let's draw. We got a west. Okay. East and west with dragons, maybe. That would be third hand down. Let's just card four crack. Two dot. Let's keep the two. Maybe we could do like numbers with twos. Let's discard three band. Five dot, that's keeper. We need five, seven, nine. And I don't even think about how the tiles fit in. I'm just going to gather. We'll worry about piecing it out when we run out of discards. This 579 hand, we just need many combinations for 579, and the details can be sorted out when we run out of these discards. Two bam. We'll keep it. We've got twos. Let's discard five bam. This is concealed. We got a six. That could be joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, there are links in the video description below for demonstrations on how it works. It's a way to potentially get jokers in your hand. And that is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Let's discard eight dot. This is concealed. Technically we could Kong with the joker, but I want to try to get this pair hand. Seven bam. Now we have options. Actually, seven, eight dragon is better because it's got a multiple. So let's switch it out. Seven, eight dragon, seven, eight dragon. Maybe we could use this up here for one, two dragon with the flower. We need flowers. We'll discard six bam. Since six bam was discarded, this is not going to be good joker bait. 
this player released that tile so they're not going to be they're not going to bite as it were we got a, no a north we have news now news we've got news let's get rid of the six no interest We've got a north. Maybe we could switch to the quint with twos, winds, and flowers, which we're severely lacking. So since our seven, eight is stronger with this multiple, let's go ahead and discard the eight, seven because we could maybe still switch to like numbers with eights and dragons. We got a flower. Maybe we could use that up here. Let's get rid of the six. Six bam. One bam. That is a year tile. So now we have to decide. Okay, this is pretty solid. Up here, we need to make a choice. Let's just put everything in order. Since we're using the dragon down here, let's give up on the winds. Keep the eight for like number potential. Up here, one, two, dragon. If we can get flowers. Or we could play still maybe the year hand if we can get dragons. We would need to use these for the dragons though. We only need a pung of twos. I'm kind of thinking one two dragon. Let's keep the north because if we do get flowers we could do that quint still. So let's keep that, keep the north, discard the west. We've got some value co going here. Pair hand, potential quint. Three dot was discarded. We got an eight bam. That's an extra. Maybe like numbers with eights is best. We'll, we'll keep collecting and see. Let's discard we do have one, two, one, two. Let's get rid of the two dot. One crack. That is a year tile. Let's discard three bam. Six crack, that is not a keeper. One dot would be a year tile. One, two, also consecutive. Let's get rid of this four bam. We're gonna need to start making some decisions here. Let's draw. Two bam. Now we gotta make another choice. We have one, two, one, two, only one flower. I wanna hold this down here for that potential pair hand. Let's give up on the nines because we're using white dragons down here. We'll give up on the year hand. Maybe play one, two consecutive run. We could use these to help with flowers. We'll have to discard the two. If we get flowers though, I'd be tempted to play that quint. 
So let's keep our options open with eights and discard the nine. Nine crack. This is concealed and this hand is making no movements at all. I might even consider switching and use the nines up here. Let's just draw and see what we get. Six, no help at all, really, unless we play five, six, seven consecutive and use these tiles up here for a year hand. We could maybe play flowers, six, seven dragon and use this for the year. Either way, we're not really gonna need these wins because we have only one multiple with year tiles. We have consecutive run potential, year potential, dragon potential. Let's give up on the wins. Since there's a west out, let's discard west. We'll give up on the wins, keep consecutive numbers for cracks, maybe use the nines for the year. Four bam was discarded. Eight crack consecutive, six, seven, eight. We actually have consecutive run there. Let's get rid of this east. I think that five, seven, nine pair hand is going down or it's not coming in. It's really not going down. There's only one nine out. It's just not coming in. That was the last pick in the second wall. So we're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know at least what category they're in. Here we're playing consecutive singles and pair hand. Here we're playing consecutive run or maybe a quint. Here we're playing hoping for the five, seven, nine pair hand, but it's looking more like consecutive run maybe with dragons. Up here, we're playing either a year hand or dragon hand. I'd say more likely a year hand and consecutive run. We got an eight. Let's discard nine crack. So that is the second nine crack out. Let's draw Joker. Let's get rid of the winds. We'll keep our options open north. I would not quint. We have not, not nearly enough flowers. So we're going to give up on the quint. We got a seven. Pair hand is one away from ready. Let's hold the eight. Discard the norths. We'll hold those. We'll get rid of the north. Drawing here. Four crack. There's more consecutive. Four through nine. Let's discard south. I don't think this is going to work though. Seven. Wow, look at that. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's get rid of the north. We'll draw. Flower. We got a flower. Okay. We'll see. Let's get rid of four crack. We really don't have to commit yet. Nine bam. That could be used for a year hand. Two, zero, one, nine. That's super light though. I think our one, two option is better. Let's get rid of the nine. And I think our like numbers with eights is good too. South.
five crack. That's the first five crack out. Seven. We finally got a keeper there. Five, seven, nine. Okay, here's a six, eight, six, eight. We were holding these for potential flowers. Six, seven, dragon. Five, nine, five, seven, nine. Let's hold this up here. That's a 2019 tile, year tile, year tile. Let's discard the one crack because we could play two suit year hand and still have options. And we still have some potential for the 579 pair hand, but we need a seven dot there. We need to pair up here and here. Let's get rid of one crack. If we're playing one, two, one, two, that's a pair. That would be the second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Eight dot. All right. Now we have two pungs of eights. I'm kind of wondering, let's see here. We need to give something up. Maybe we could play like numbers with sevens and like numbers with eights. These twos are not looking real good. Let's see here. What about what about the quint with dragons? And then like numbers with eights. So downgrade from a pair hand to a quint. These could be joker bait. Let's go ahead and give up on the ones. There are, there's already a one crack out. So let's just hold the sevens and get rid of the one and then we'll decide. We can still maybe do the pair hand. Let's draw. Joker. We have to decide. So if we did a year hand here, two zero, let's just work with it. Two zero one nine flowers one nine jokers to help kong singles pung we really only need one joker this hand would be set no more pair hand then down here we could do let's see We have no flowers. We have two sevens, three fives, like numbers with fives. Use this as joker bait. Your hand is set, like numbers with five, no gaps. We could still maybe do six, seven dragon or seven, eight dragon if we share the flower or get more flowers. So let's hold these for an option with these dragons. Let's give up the two at this point, two dot. We can still maybe do the five, seven, nine hand but we're not pairing up and we have no seven dot. So let's keep going. Red dragon. Let's discard one, bam. These are singles. 
three crack. Three bam. Four bam. Four dot. Six dot. West. Five dot keeper. Now we have a pung. I would give up on the pair hand at this point. So we're going to discard these. Let's keep the nines for an option for the year and discard seven bam. We still could maybe do consecutive run, but we'd have to throw away a pung of fives. So let's go ahead and focus on fives. We'll use this as joker bait. Discard those, and that's joker bait. This is not going to be good joker bait because this player discarded it. So let's draw. Joker. That's going to help with the quint. I would use it here because we could still maybe draw a joker. We could quint Kong and then draw a joker for a win. So now we have to decide like numbers with eights or this actually looks pretty good. Eights concealed, seven, eight, seven, eight pair hand still is possible. Let's give up on the seven dots. Let's see, four, 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 three. Okay. To quickly count your tiles, break them off in groups of four. You should have six groups of four with three remaining. That's 27 tiles. Instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., you can make it quick by breaking it off in groups. So I think like numbers with eights or this pair hand still is possible. We'll see. Let's draw, Hope, hoping for fives. We got an eight, seven, eight, seven, eight dragons. We have year potential with the nine, one, nine, two crack. We don't have, let's discard six crack. flower. We got our pair here. Seven, eight, seven, eight. We're really close here. Let's discard seven dot. I know the seven, eight dot with the dragon might have been closer for the pair hand, but this is set. All we need is a joker to finish that up. So I think like numbers with eights still looks good if we don't pair up our dragon and our seven. Flower. We got our fourth flower there. Let's discard nine bam. Joker. Okay, there it is. We just need to quint and Kong. Now down here, we have to make a choice. Since we have flowers, let's play, let's play like numbers with eights. I'm just a little nervous about these sevens and the other dragon. We could Kong, Kong, we need help here. Okay, so this is the deciding time right now. Break up that pair hand. If we play the pair hand, we'll have a pung of eights to get rid of. I think we should leverage it, maybe even for a double mahjong. Let's, let's push for that. Seven crack, painful as it is. 
five. We got a five. Now, this seven crack, we could have taken it for a Kong, but I think this looks really good. There's no gaps, and all our flowers are up here. This hand is one away from ready. So let's get rid of nine dot. And these sevens are discards. Flower. We don't need we don't need it. Eights. Let's discard the flower. And they don't need it either. One dot. Okay, ready to win on a nine crack. Let's get rid of the seven crack. White dragon. Ready to win on a two bam or a white dragon. And we can maybe use this down here. Let's go ahead and get rid of green dragon. South. One crack. We gave up on that a long time ago. North. Six dot. Nine bam. We don't need it. We don't need the seven either. Three crack. Five bam. Very nice. Let's let's use these as the pairs and not worry about pairs. This is getting close. Let's get rid of the nine bam. We're two away from a double mahjong. Let's draw. Three crack. Here we're four away from a double mahjong. Last tile, third wall, four bam. Everybody should decide if they're going to play to win or play defense instead. Block your opponent from winning. Here, I would play to win. Totally play to win. I would play to win for both. It's actually a race to double mahjong. Nine dot. Green dragon. Okay. This hand is ready to win on any one of those tiles right there. Really, any one of these tiles, because we could even use these as the pairs. Any one of these tiles would be a win. Let's discard eight crack down here. Let's let's Kong and use one of these jokers. Let's discard red dragon. Up here, that would be Mahjong. But do we want to push for double Mahjong? We're going into the end game. Let's give it a little time. Because we need pair, pair, pung, pung, or pair, pair, pung, pung. There's still another red dragon to come. And since this player discarded it, if they draw it, they'll discard it again. At which point we'll maybe declare Mahjong. Let's draw. Paid off that time. We've got our win. And we could... Do double mahjong now. Ready? Eight crack. With that discard. Ready on a double mahjong with a nine crack. Red dragon or five dot. One of three tiles will give us a double mahjong. Here, we're still three away. One bam.
six dot. One dot. Six dot. East. Three crack. Green dragon. Oh, that pear hand. Green dragon. Oh. Six crack. I thought that was a nine. Three dot. Eight bam. Kong. Kong. We want to quint. I was going to say we could actually mahjong and use this to mahjong, but they have no they have no exposures out. They could be working on a double mahjong. Let's declare because of that. Let's declare win so we have credit for at least one. Just in case, if your opponent has no winning hands out and you're in the end game, they could be playing for double mahjong, in which case you want to discount their total score by declaring if you can. So we're going to do it. We're going to declare an itty bitty 25 point hand for a win with two jokers. Those are now locked in place and we'll discard red dragon. Two discards. That here would be double mahjong. We'll put this up here. This is our win. We have flowers, year, Two pungs, different suits. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong, double mahjong. This is a 25 point hand. This is a 30 point hand. Because they did a simultaneous double mahjong, the values double. So this is actually a 50 point hand and this is a 60 point hand for a total of 110 points. This player had one mahjong. 25 points, but they discarded the winning tile for a double mahjong. So they have a penalty of 10 points. So subtract that from their 25 point hand, they have a plus of 15. So you subtract that from this player's 110, this player owes this player 95 points. This quint was a little blocked because of this. They had the jokers, they just couldn't, couldn't get the tiles because these are year tiles and they're playing a year hand. The next time I play a quint, I'm not going to use year tiles. That was a bit painful. I think I won't use year tiles and maybe not fives because fives are all over the card in 2019. I thought that quint might have come in. Good thing though, we used the joker for the like number hand and it discounted the double mahjong a little bit. That was kind of painful. I know it can be a little complicated but if you download the original rules from SiamesMahjong.com, have that with you when you play the game. And if there's ever a question, just read the rules. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Siamese Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.